Okay, we are getting ready to make some sets here under ice beaver trapping in northern Maine. And just, it's it's early March, so beaver, uh, if they're still around, they're hungry. Um, and I've been dealing with a bit of a challenging situation in this area. So we got, we got a big river up there. The ice is real sketchy on the river. Um, it's not a good place to be this time of year. There's a hydro dam that uh, fluctuates water levels and messes the ice up through most of the winter so i don't even go near the river i don't want to die uh trapping a, a 10 or 15 dollar beaver <clears throat> but there's these side channels this is like a backwater slough and there's these different interconnected sloughs that go probably uh at least three four miles uh that i've been traveling up and down where you can actually get back and forth pretty easy um i scouted this about a week and a half ago and I found uh, there were overall, like if you count active and old beaver lodges, there were about uh, probably 12 to 15 just lodges overall. And five of those appeared to be active. When I say active, uh, basically what I'm doing is uh, on these side channels, it's really hard to find any evidence of feed pile. It's hard to find evidence at all in a lot of cases, but we're looking for uh, a steam hole or a melted out top on the lodge. Sometimes you see that and, and it's not active. Uh, it's just uh, heat from the ground or maybe some otter or muskrat hanging out in there. Uh, but a lot of times you'll see that on an active lodge. And then I'll look at the vegetation and uh, make sure that it's still somewhat green. Um, here I, I cut, uh, I just cut a few slits uh, into the bark with my Leatherman just to make sure that this was alive this past summer and fall and so the beaver is using uh, some green material to work on the lodge meaning it was it was uh, worked over here um, before freeze up now problem with the side channel the beavers set up shop we have four or five probably five active houses and then the water dropped. We had a lot of rain this fall. Everything was nice and high for beavers to get going. And then the water dropped. It dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. And now it's extremely low. And there's a lot of these are set up on places where there were old abandoned dams or beavers may have patched up or made a new dam, but then there wasn't really enough water. Uh, they didn't have time to patch it up good before freeze up. And then, uh, you know, if you look here, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's, this is really not holding much water at all. So challenge is gonna be to find where the heck the beavers are. Uh, I went here, I was here about a week ago and I cut a bunch of holes out here and there was essentially no water, maybe a foot of water below the bottom of the ice and no beaver sign at all. Um, used the chainsaw, was not much fun. It was about uh, 20 to 24 inches of ice. So then I came back with my ice auger and I came in, I worked out here and then I worked in closer to the house. A lot of times when the water's low like this, you'll notice the deepest water is right around the uh, circumference of the beaver lodge. I mean, they dig that out and they're actively moving, kind of keeping that water deeper. So I drove a series of holes with my ice auger all around the outside of this lodge. I really did not find much um, water, more than about two two to two and a half feet but um, what I was looking for in addition to having uh, adequate water was also uh, being able to see uh, any evidence of sticks that have been chewed and peeled indicating that beaver uh, were nearby so uh, and were actively feeding um, this winter so I did find some of that but not much I was not too uh, encouraged there and I could not find any area around this house that had much deeper water than any other. Next step is just to verify. So I set some bait sticks. I looked my, of all the holes I drilled, I had three that were the most promising. One on this end, and I just chipped this out. It's been four nights, and as you can see, the beaver has not touched this. So there's no activity, no beaver activity in four nights, not worth trapping. Um, I had one, over here where these were my this is my other area that was kind of uh, had a lot of good you know what what i thought might have been promising sign uh examples like this peeled stick um, and this one here so i put a bait stick here it's gone it was actually it was a shorter one so uh, 
anyway, it was it was gone. And then I put a pole here, and I just picked it up. It was setting like this, and it was chewed off right below uh, the ice. And so this had beaver activity. That had beaver activity. Now my job is to make a couple of snare pole sets uh, right in here, and we'll go from there. And that means uh, we're pretty good odds we're going to catch a beaver in here, maybe two or three, maybe four. Um, but they're they're here now. We've kind of verified that. Uh, I'm going to set these up here this morning, and then uh, I got uh, three more lodges to check. I actually had four, but one of them is just the water dropped so much, and it's all mud. Could not even find more than four or five inches, if that, of water um, below the bottom of the ice. So that one's out. But I got three more that I I've got to check my bait poles and and see if anything is active, and then I'll set those accordingly. So gonna be a good day.